So a lot of people ask me, what does my day look like? What does my day-to-day -day activities look like? And I, I want people to really think about not what does my day look like, but what should yours look like? Because especially when you're building your business, when you build a business versus when you run a business, it's, compl it's completely different, two completely different things. And you also have to think, well, his goals, aka my goals, may not be the same as your specific goals. And so, um, like for example, today, over here, move out the way. So here, I'm filming a lot of a lot of training because I went from just speaking at events to now we're actually going to do a lot of the training for these companies. So we're going to put in like marketing systems and all sorts of stuff for their their people to help them with their their marketing. And so in the beginning, my day used to look like literally me sitting down at, at a desk. And I would send out emails every day, all day, every day. I would just sit there, do, 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 do. And, and that's all it was. That's how I built it. At a certain point, you start getting on stage. Well, I was getting on stages at a certain point. Then the day started looking a little bit differently. And so uh, you have to think, okay, well, it's not necessarily what does my day look like. It's all about what does your day look like. And you want to think in terms of what's the process someone used for their daily activity. So. Like for example, I used to, like what, what I used to do is, you see here where this foam stuff is, I, I used to, well not, not specifically here, but if my desk was here, then where that foam stuff is, there would be a calendar right there. There'd be like a, a huge to-do list right there. That way I could actually see what I needed to get done for that day. And I would do this just to set it up in terms of like a reminder for me to where it's like, as soon as I look up, I'm like, okay, yeah, I know I, I need to, to do this. And so what I essentially do is I start at the end. I say, here's what I need to accomplish. I, I, I want, here's my vision for the business, right? I wanna get on stage, I wanna build a training business. Here's my vision for the business. At that moment, I would now work backwards. So I would say, okay, for this month, here's the project. We actually gotta create the training program or we actually gotta uh, create the, the sales pipeline and we actually gotta make sure the pipeline works and that it's actually selling uh, type thing. So I would work backwards in terms of the things that need to actually happen. And then from there, I would now start to create the schedule. And what I would do with the schedule is I would go into, uh, I have a Mac, so I would use the iCalendar. I'll go into the iCalendar and I would just create one specific thing I need to get done for that day. So it was, it was, what's the most important thing that I need to get done for the day? And that's the one thing I would put on my calendar. And I would have this, these like list of to-dos, right? And I, I would use Asana, uh, A-S-A-N-A, -A, Asana for my to-do list. I'd have these list of to-dos and I would order them in terms of importance. And I would say, okay, here's the one thing I need to get done today. If there's nothing else, if I, if I have food poisoning today, I'm gonna get this one thing done. So that, that was the one thing. And then I'd have it to do in terms of all the other things I would get done, right? So that was kind of my process is I would reverse engineer. I would say, here's the vision of the business, AKA um, speaking on more stages or building a training, uh, building the training portion of the business. Here's the vision of the business. Then I would say, okay, here's the project for this month. And then I would now go into the day-to-day -day activities. And that's essentially what I would do. And I would, all, I would think in terms of how can I set up my environment, like here. So I would think, all right, how do I set up the environment to where I'm constantly reminded of things I need to do? That's why I said, like here where, with the foam right here, I, I would normally have a calendar right there. And I would say, okay, here's what you need to get done. Or, or like... Um, um, the whiteboard thing, and I would write on the whiteboard, all right, this is the one thing for today. I'd write in big letters, right? And and so I would set up my environment in this way. That way it would just remind me. And even like little things like this this picture right here with the, the money sign, I would I remember, okay, um, revenue, revenue, revenue. What do I got to do to produce revenue? Because uh, so many people, they focus on things that don't actually produce revenue in their business. So I would have little reminders like that where it's like, hey, all right, revenue, revenue, revenue. And so um, it's not necessarily what does my day-to-day -day look like. It's all about what should yours look like, and you just reverse engineer it. That's it.